Hi there, I'm Patrick for CBT News Online in Japan for the 42nd Tokyo Motor Show on the invitation of Honda Malaysia. And with the first and second day of the show being exclusively catered to the global automotive media, as you can expect, it was a circus. Nevertheless, there were lots of anticipation as the world was present to find out how resilient the Japanese automotive industry is coping with a very, very tough year. So our first focus is Honda, of course, and we were all gathered to see its president, Takanobu Ito, unveil not only their new direction of developing more exciting, thrilling and fun cars, or m and as they call it, man maximum, machine minimum, but also to reveal the range of concept EVs, and the model that took center stage was the EV Stir. Though it was my first visit to the Tokyo Motor Show, the sentiment that I gathered from the various journalists is that this time, the show was a little toned down. And understandably so, as the Nippon Big Boys are still reeling from the double whammy of not only the earthquake and tsunami, but also the recent floods in Thailand. But there were some nuggets that many were anticipating, such as Toyota's FT86, Nissan's zero-emission platform, and the invasion of the European marks. We will bring you the Western invasion at the Tokyo Motor Show, plus the highlight of this year's event, the Green Mobiles, from hybrid to electric on tomorrow's show. But we ended day one at the Tokyo Motor Show with a press conference with Honda's big chiefs, including President Ito-san. He, on behalf of the company, extended their sincere apologies to his dealers and customers for any delay and inconvenience caused due to the floods in Thailand. The latest update from Honda is that the waters have receded from their facility and currently surveyors are quantifying the damage and evaluating the requirements to get the factories up and running. And I believe that with the determination of the company, its workforce and the work ethic of this nation, Honda will find a solution to get back on track at the soonest possible time. So until our next update from the 42nd Tokyo Motor Show, I'm Patrick for CBT News in Japan. 